Good evening. Just wanted to hop on here, uh, just a moment, uh, just to share some encouraging words. Um, I had a thought, and um, my thought is, who said it? And do you have confidence in the source? And I was thinking about these days, you know, there's people always reporting good and bad news. And you know, uh, some of the news is fake. Some of the news is real. And a lot of times it's really hard to decipher what's real and what's fake. So it depends on the source to know who's reliable or not. And, I, as, and as I was thinking about this, I, I, I happened to stumble and I was reading Luke today. And I was reading uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 37. It says in the King James... For with God nothing shall be impossible. And then it says in Amplified. For with God nothing is ever impossible. And no word from God shall be without power. Or impossible of fulfillment. So we know we have real news, fake news. And sometimes we believe in the source. And sometimes the source is not reliable but here we read that we have one source that is reliable in this verse right here it says for with God nothing is ever impossible and no word from God shall be without power or impossible of fulfillment and basically what that means is God is going to do exactly what he said he's going to do and I was looking at another scripture also that I wanted to share. And this is talking about John. I'm not going to get all deep in it, but I just want to encourage you with these words and how the Lord blessed me. Um, in Luke chapter 1, uh, uh, chapter 1, verse 80, it reads, And the child grew and waxed strong in the spirit and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. And another version reads, Now the child was growing and was being strengthened in spirit and was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. And I just want to encourage you that sometimes when God is working on you, he's working on you so he can manifest something in you. And when you're going through those things in life, sometimes this can be the roughest season in your life, the roughest month, the roughest years, the roughest days that you have when God is working on you to manifest something in you. But I just want to encourage you that you got to hold on to God's word. And maybe they were talking about the desert. The desert is also the wilderness. It's, it's, it's a lonely place. It's a place of solitude. And what I love about even in the even in the wilderness, even in the desert, God is still strengthening you in your spirit. He is still doing a work in you so you can be encouraged because he's with you. And when he's ready to manifest whatever he has for your next season, for the next part in your life. For the next year in your life or whatever it is, just be strengthened in this time that he has you. And what I love about the wilderness is it also leads you sometimes when we go through stuff that makes us go to our prayer closet. That shows us how to have a real relationship with the Lord. That shows us how to really be consistent with God. Because sometimes when everything is going right. Sometimes we, 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 we take everything, we take things for granted. And then when we're in a wilderness place, that's when we really get back to the focus, to depending on him. So I just want to encourage you, even though you're in your wilderness, you are growing and God is strengthening you. 
And I just encourage you to let God have his way. And then this last scripture that I want to share. Uh, and, and it says in uh, Luke chapter 3, uh, verse 2. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, Annas and Caiaphas being the high priest, the word of God came unto John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. And then it reads in the Amplified, it says, in the, in the high priest, in the high priest of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God concerning the attainment through Christ of salvation in the kingdom of God came to John of Zechariah, came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness or the desert. So I want to encourage you, no matter where you're at, the Lord is still speaking to you. Just open your ears. Don't focus on the place. Focus on his presence. Don't focus on the place. Focus on his presence. He is there with you. And no matter where you're at, the word of God can strengthen you. So I just want to encourage you to hold on to the word of God. Because the word of God can encourage you, can, and can comfort you, can be everything you need it to be no matter where you're at. And Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So proceeding means it's an action. So every day we have to be in the living word. So that the living word moves us when that doubt and that worry and all those things try to come. That word just collides with it and that doubt has to go down. That worry, everything that opposes what God said has to go down. Because God is not a man that he shall lie and his word will not return unto him void. So I just want to encourage you, no matter where you're at, in your wilderness, in your desert, in your lonely place, just know God is still speaking to you. And he's strengthening you in his spirit. And he's showing you how to continue to depend on him, no matter what life looks like. No matter what comes in your life, no matter what goes in your life. He's teaching you dependence on him. So I just want to encourage you to keep on going after God. Keep on seeking his face. Keep on staying in his presence. He has it all worked out. And once again, I want to leave you with that scripture uh, that I started with. For with God, nothing is ever impossible. And no word from God shall be without power are impossible of fulfillment. There is nothing too hard for God. Believe God, trust God, walk with God, and walk by faith and not by sight. God bless you and he has you.